Okay, everybody, so we are going to go do our paladin quest because there's a couple of skills we'll get for it. So I believe we have to go to Ulta. We'll come back and pick up these quests and do this stuff here for sure. Oh, show. Oh, I love Dr. Pepper. It's the best soda in the whole wide world. Do, 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 do. What am I doing? I need to teleport. See what Owen has to say. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. Oh, his name's Jealous. You have earned the right to call yourself a paladin, but how do others treat you? Do they recognize you for what you are? Remember that fancy sword plate and well-polished armor do not make you a paladin. You must be just in your heart and strive always to be an exemplar of true virtue. Once, not so long ago, the Sultan Sworn could walk the streets with their heads held high. When they marched by, the small folk would look upon them with reverence and gratitude, and no one was more respected than the captain, my predecessor. When I first saw him, I was still a child. My father had promised to take me to a local festival, but somewhere he took a wrong turn. We became lost and stumbled into a secluded back alley. Luck was not with us, because the next moment we found ourselves in the middle of a riot. Drunken hunters were firing arrows into the crowd, and we were caught between them. There was no way out. It was only a matter of time before we would be struck. That's when the captain saved us from our plight. I'd never seen a sword move so swiftly. It flashed faster than my eyes could follow, and in seconds the hunters were on the ground or fleeing for their lives. The captain was gone down the street, slicing at their heels before my father had time to thank him. Even today, I can see the captain as he was then, blood on his shoulder, and armor, and possibly bright in the sun. After that, all I ever wanted to be was a paladin. I would practice endlessly with my sword, dreaming of bandits defeated and monsters slain. Even after I became one of the sultan's sworn, the memory of the captain still inspired me. I was always the first to arrive in the training yard and the last to leave. And so the years passed, and before I knew it, I found myself named Captain of the Sultan's Sword. Yet the triumph was hollow, because by then, the honor of the Sultan's Sworn Elite, the very thing that had drawn me to the Brotherhood, was a mere vestige. Like the discarded banner of a defeated foe. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. The Sword Oath Keeper was bestowed upon the first Captain of the Sultan's Sworn by the then Sultan of Ulda. In time, it became our standard, the symbol of oaths we had sworn, and it was treasured by each new captain for generations. Possession was proof of Sultan's Sworn Command. But then the unthinkable came to pass. Oathkeeper was stolen by the traitor. He took our brotherhood to the core. It shook our brotherhood to the core. How can we be trusted to protect the Sultana if we cannot even hold on to the symbol of our fealty? We have been tarnished in the eyes of ruler and ruled alike. If the Sultan's sworn are to survive, we must find the traitor and recover Oathkeeper. But the Sultan's sworn have grown too weak and we cannot do it ourselves. We've been forced to recruit outsiders to help us in our cause. I have high hopes for you, my friend. It is a great thing. It is a great thing that we ask, and you must learn more of our secrets if you are to succeed. In the outer Ladnosia, near the Hermit's Hovel, is a grove where ringtails congregate. Pitting yourself against a host of the beasts would be a fine way to hone the skills that I will teach you. In the grove, you will find another brazier, this time filled with the potent incense that will drive the creatures into a frenzy. Defeat your attackers and return to me. Do
So 6.1 came out yesterday, uh, which is exciting because now you can do main scenario quests with the duty support. So we might try that out, or I might, I, I'm not sure, I don't know, I mean dungeons definitely seem to be a decent way to level, so it might be a viable way to level up uh, alt club jobs, dang it, I went to the wrong place, I gotta go to the chamber of rule, I'm so used to coming to the gladiators. So that, I mean that's kind of cool and exciting, um, being able to do that. I think it's supposed to take a little bit longer with the NPCs, but honestly, if you're just playing DPS, I don't see like that. I feel feel like that's not that big a deal. Well done. You have taken the skills I taught you and made them your own. I still do not have word of where the traitor is hiding, but I will inform you the moment I do. Until then, continue your training. Cool. That was easy. Thanks, Jillens. Auto attacks, grant oath. Now I can use Sheltron. To block incoming attacks. Cost 50 oath, but that's cool. Okay. This is going to be cool because it's going to give us a combo for our AoE. Welcome, Paladin. You should know that word of your deeds has reached the me. Few are those who follow the true Paladin path without misstep. But you are one of them. I am proud to call you brother. You have kept the faith, and in return, I must have faith in you. It is time that you knew the truth. Though it is hard to share, for it is a shame I would rather keep hidden from outsiders. Perhaps you remember when I told you of the traitor and the sword oath keeper that he stole. His name is Solkzygil, and he was my predecessor as captain of the Sultan's sworn elite. Yes, he was the same man whom I had admired as a child who inspired me to take up the sword and follow the way of the paladin. He was a paragon of paladins until, that is, he changed. Some years ago now, there was a struggle for influence between the sultanate military and a faction within the syndicate known as the Monoterrorists. The latter emerged triumphant and the army's authority was diminished dramatically. Although Sulk Zagil was still captain of the sultan's sworn elite, he knew his position was perilous, so he fled taking Oathkeeper with him. In doing so, he went against the words that he had spoken on bended knee before his royal liege. Now it falls to me as captain to restore the honor and name of the Sultan Sword. If that means cutting down my former mentor and master, I would do it gladly, for his misdeed cannot be forgiven. But his death will not live the stain that mars our name. He must be put on trial in a public court so that everyone knows his crimes. Then and only then can we begin to earn the people's trust again. He served for over 30 years as captain of the, of the Sultan's Sworn Elite, and he is a formidable foe. Few can match his skill with the sword. Even together, you and I will find it difficult to take him alive without mortal harm to one side or the other. So you must continue to hone your skills and prepare for the day when we will face him. To complete the next stage of your training, you must do this. Go to the Yugiram River in eastern Thanalan and find the Razir we have placed there. By lighting it, you will draw the ire of the Lepidots, dwelling within the waters. Face the creatures in battle and master your new skills. The fight will not be easy, but if you take to heart what you have learned and let the crystal be your guide, you will triumph. Somehow I don't believe it. Let's see. We can certainly try.
Zoom, zoom, zoom in on my chocobo. -y. Tress is in distress. He is for dead. Oh, no, 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 it's not working. My jaded sculpt turns his nose up at the purple potation. You, you're that trusty adventurer, I'm not gonna lie. I need you to fetch something with all haste. Time is short, and the comb is a cruel mistress. Long have I feared this day would come, but I am ready. The purple tonic is dead. Long live the snurble tonic. You know where to get snurble blood, don't you? Snurbles, you say? Wrong. You get snurble blood from Golden Fleece. Don't think about it. Just go to the burning wall and kill five. What a weird O. Fringe on full effect. You know about quartz doblins? Didn't expect you to. They're only found in the most dangerous reaches of the Tantalan type of gob goblin they are, this kind of country. Or, oh yes, they eat crystals, you know, and around these parts there's a king's feast to be had. Make the doblins grow pure, clear quartz right in their bodies. Think you can get some for me? Sure. Just whatever you need, bruh. I got the homie hook up.
Good hunting. Bag any clear quartz there? Yes, sir. Them's what I was after. Clear of the gods' piss. No offense intended. And a ring like a bells. Calamity's changed a lot of things around here. That's true enough. But it's still a treasure trove. You can't ask for much more as a miner. Could it just be shitty? That was going to be a weirdo again. Is this the end? I thought we would always have each other, my hair and I. You, you ain't got no hair, bud. Snurble, bud. You sure are a lifesaver. Now for the tonic. Uncork the sea pickles, mine the effluvia, via, effluvia, and a whittle of this. Pizzle that in there. Don't stand on ceremony. Tick tock, tick tock. Put your hand into it and work my scalp. Ooh, uh, I feel that my precious tresses. Papa's coming to save you. Once again, I'm in your debt. Now that we know each other better, I can reveal the truth. This hair keeps me alive. I feel a great intervention of spirit whenever I strand his felt on my comb. Truly, that is proof enough. No, it's not, you weirdo. Good, you've mastered your new skills and make them your own. But much work remains to be done before you can face the traitor. So, Zygo, you're close to finding him. And as our granite draws tighter, it goes ever more important that we make ready for the moment when the fish must at last be landed. Okay. Okay, bud. Welcome, friend. I have important news for you. In my search for the trader, I've been looking through old records and discovered something chilling. Around the time the trader Sol Zagiel was named captain, several famed soldiers of the Sultan's Sworn met with untimely deaths. But strangely, our records did not say how they died. <clears throat> Curious, I begged the favor of an old friend and received permission to inspect medical records kept by Frondel's frontistory. I discovered that the soldiers died in various ways, some in combat, some suddenly at night in the barracks, but in nearly every case there were signs that poison had played a role in their demise. This poison, carefully and visibly administered, the more I read, the more I saw the dark hand of death's embrace at work, assassins in the pay and service of the Monetaris. A society so secretive that few believe it truly exists. But no matter how skilled and devious the assassins, they should not have been able to kill so many of the sultans who were an elite without being discovered. Now that is, without help from within our own ranks. So I asked myself, who had the most to gain from the deaths? One by one, the former captain, his trusted aides, the most capable of all the sultans who who might become future commanders, all of them slain by an invisible hand, and with their deaths, the way was open for Sult Sigil to become the sultans Warren's youngest captain in the century. The monetarists were plotting to kill the best and bravest of the sultan's one to purge its rank of greatness and innervate it so that it could no longer carry out its duty to serve as a sword and shield of the sultanate. 
Which begs the question, how did Sol Ezekiel remain captive for 30 long years? How did he avoid the poisoner's kiss when men better than him had succumbed? There can only be one explanation. He was a monetarist cat's fall, the turncloak in our midst. Needless to say, I am more determined to track him down than ever before. While I continue my investigation, I have a trial for you. I want you to seek the gallant armor, the legendary rain, and it's worn by generations of the finest soldiers of the Sultan Sworn. In accordance with Sultan Sworn tradition, the, the set that would be yours has been scattered across southern Thanalan. Each piece has been locked within a coffer, which will be guarded by two men. You must best the Sultan Sworn themselves if you are to claim their armor. Okay. Little Alamigo. Really gold saucers right there. That's cool.
Thanks, bro. Good, the armor is yours. You have learned your lessons well and honed your skills, and now you are ready to face Sulk, Zagiel, the traitor. Yes, the time has come. I have discovered his hiding place and made contact through emissaries. We are negotiating the return of both keepers. Secrecy is crucial, as is preparation. We will leave only when you are ready. The recovery of Oathkeeper will be the first step in restoring the honor of the Sultan's horn. I have told Sol Zagiel that if he returns the sword, he, we will give him a fair trial. Otherwise, he shall be captured and thrown at the feet of the Sultana for judgment. The parley is to take place out of the Forgotten Springs in the Sicoli Desert. Give me your map and I will mark the location. While I believe he is acting alone, we must not be prepared. We must be prepared for anything. You may be certain that the Monetaris will not take kindly to his surrender. In fact, I believe that should the Monetaris discover Sol Zagiel is willing to parlay they will surely try to intervene therefore we must not speak of what we do not to anyone we should be we should travel separately so as not to attract attention we shall meet again at the, the parlay oh man oh man Yep, I think I'm gonna have to call this episode a uh, short one because I am super tired. So we got most of the paladin stuff caught up. We're gonna finish this next quest at the beginning of the next episode and then return back to Quarthus. Um, if, if you're enjoying this, the let's play and kind of seeing how it plays out and the different jobs I've played previously, um, if you could leave a like and subscribe to the channel, that'd really help me out a lot. Um, you can also catch me live at twitch.tv slash I'm not gonna lie. I stream everything as I record it normally. Um, we are making heavy progress. Our main scenario quest is almost level 40 ish, which means we're closing in on the end of the uh, Realm Reborn stuff. Well, the beginning. We still got the, the letter, a few patches to kind of slog through before we can start Heaven Sword, but I'm getting really, really ex ex excited. Even more excited than. I was before um it's gonna be so very very cool i think and i can't wait to see you all there enjoying me enjoying the journey with me see you next time